In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to make cartoon clouds in Photoshop. So I'm going to pick a blue color, maybe a bit lighter, a bit lighter again, and maybe another blue color, a bit darker. I'm going to go to a radial gradient, zoom out a bit, hold down shift to make it straight. Oh, gotta reverse. There we go. Got kind of a sky thing going on. Which is what we want because we're making clouds. So, as I said, two ways to do this. One is with brushes. It's pretty easy. Well, they're all easy. Make your brush bigger by pressing the right curly bracket. What you do is kind of just make some brush strokes make sure to fill in it and stuff and you can also play with the size while you're doing this to get some different looking clouds so that is one method well, I'll do that on a different layer make sure you do it on a different layer don't make that mistake so here we've got the clouds uh, made with brushes. Uh, for both these methods, I'm going to duplicate the layer, and I'm just going to hide both of these right now, because I'm going to go on the second method. This one is for more funky shaped clouds, uh, so make an elliptical marquee, it's right under the rectangular marquee, and then press Alt or Option and delete or backspace to fill it with the color. I'm just using black right now, but we'll change that. So here we've got kind of a weird looking sort of cloud thing. Duplicate the layer. Uh, the second method takes a lot more practice to get right. Just do it for this one first. I'm going to show both of these. On the bottom one, no, on the top one, go to Layer, New Filler, and then pick Gradient. Uh, check Group with Previous Layer, click OK. Go to Foreground or Background or any one with two stops. I'm going to set to Black, and I've already got White. And that looks all right right now but if it doesn't end up looking all right you can do a couple things you can play with your scale and you can drag the gradient around uh, within the cloud to get different uh, areas of it showing and you can also play with the scale and that so click OK now we've got that and on the bottom most layer Go to Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur, so we can get kind of a, a drop shadow. And play around with the radius, because it'll differ depending on how big your clouds are. I'm going to use around maybe like 7. That looks good. And again, I'm going to do this on the top. I'll hide the bottom. And it's the exact same thing. Uh, no matter what method you use, again, use the fill layer. Click OK, do the same thing, turn it to gray. Oh, didn't have the right layer clicked. Never mind, uh, you know how to do it now, because uh, I just showed you. Well, anyway. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment and rate. And if you like my channel, please subscribe and go make some cartoon clouds. Just a mention, these look fantastic in wallpapers, especially if you add like a hot air balloon, like a cartoon looking hot air balloon, or that kind of thing. They just look good. Uh, so just a tip. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. And again, subscribe.